Hi, I don't really do tutorials, so I'm sorry if this is kind of hard to follow or not very clear, but I'm going to do my best anyway. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some Octane and Forester, uh, just how I go about building um, sort of the leaf shaders. Um, uh, I learned quite a lot from a few tutorials by David Ari, which I'm going to link uh, below. He covers how to do sort of natural landscapes uh, that really help me kind of understand this stuff. And then from there, I've kind of pushed the shaders uh, a little bit more, trying to get a little bit more out of them in terms of realism. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead um, yeah, and start. Let's do some stuff. So uh, I'm gonna start with a plant. Uh, let's kind of focus on that first. So I'm just gonna go add in a multi-flora or you know, plugins, Forester, multi-flora. I have mine docked up here. I'm gonna add that in. Come down to it here. Let's press O to view it. Why it's below? Let's pull it up to zero. zero. There we go. And then come over to the multi-floor library. I'm gonna add in a leaf grass. Just click that. And I'm gonna select these two green materials down here. I'm going to convert them. So go materials, convert materials, or just convert there. I'm going to go function, and then remove unused materials. So now we've got a, the frost uh, materials uh, converted to octane. Um, I'm going to go ahead from some lighting in here so we can see what we're doing. I have my environment light turned off. Um, if you go settings, and then settings environment, um, I have it just black, so it's not contributing anything. So I can just work with my lights. Um, for now, let's just add in a daylight. I'm going to rotate it up slightly. Something like that. And I'm going to also add in the floor so these aren't floating. There you go. Something like that's quite good. Now you can see by default, um, the materials are quite boring. There's not a lot of detail happening in them. Um, it's just an image texture. So um, let's see if we can do some more with them. So we're just going to frame up on this. There we go. So let's start with the leaf. Uh, just click the MF leaf material down here and then go materials and then open node editor. Uh, I've got mine docked up here. You can see what's happened in the conversion. It's just taken that image texture and just plucked it straight into the diffuse. So. The first thing I usually do is color correct it. So I'm going to up the gamma slightly, make it a little bit darker, maybe 1.2. I'm going to bring down the saturation and then move the hue over to kind of a yellowy kind of color. Some of that, that's a little more realistic. Now, let's uh, throw back to the node editor again. I'll just move around so we can see them more clearly. Um, now we can also pipe this into the bump. So let's come down here, um, add another color correction. Plug that into the texture, and we're going to take all the color out of it. So up the contrast slightly, maybe 0 0.2. I'm going to put this into the diffuse at the moment so we can kind of see what we're doing. See, so yeah, that's kind of, we've got some information there, but um, not really as much as we want. So I'm going to add a little bit more contrast uh, using a gradient. So here we can just take this black value and we can crush it up. There we go, that's a bit better. Maybe the black's too much, just kind of lighten this up slightly, maybe 15%. Maybe 10. There we go, that's better. So then we can put, put this into the bump. No, into the diffuse. Sorry, the color correct into the diffuse. There we go. Is it great? Now we've got the um, we've got the diffuse and the bump working. So next we can add uh, some transmission. Uh, to that, we're going to add another color correct. I'm going to take this into the texture and that into the transmission. And you see that's adding some nice kind of subsurface there. If I uh, if I store that render buffer and then take it off. You can see the difference. 
softener, a bit like subsurface. So I'm going to put that back in. And in order to alter it, I'm going to take off the comparison for a sec. Um, I'm going to spin around so we're kind of backlighting it so it's a lot easier to see. Now, if you want more or less um, transmission or you want the color to be different, um, just come into the node editor again. Now, we can, if you lower the gamma, you'll see we get more of it, but it kind of gets white and kind of blown out quite a lot. So, I may lower that to 0 0.9. And then uh, we're going to get a multiply here. And into the texture 2, I'm going to put in a float which is just a value from naught to whichever. So at the moment it's 0 0.5, so we're halving the effect. If we go to one, we see it's back to where we were, or we can go to like four, and that'll just be a lot. But rather than it being washed out and going white, it's still staying kind of green. So I think maybe two, if you want more. I think personally, that's too much transmission. So um, I'm gonna multiply it down slightly, maybe 0.75. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to up the gamma slightly as well. 1.1. So now we have some sort of nice amount of, uh, amount of transmission happening. So now we've got light rays passing through the object. Uh, we can scatter those. So I'm going to select this here. I'm going to go over to medium. Add it on scattering medium. Uh, there's a great tutorial by Raphael Rue that goes into more uh, detail about uh, what the scattering medium does and how to achieve certain effects with it. Uh, so I'm going to put that linked below. I don't want to waste too much time just explaining this one node at the moment. But um, all we want to do is we're going to add in two RGB spectrums. I'm going to put that into the absorption and then into the scattering. So let's find a nice reference image so we kind of know what we what we're going for. Um, you want something like this, basically, kind of a like a uh, sort of light light white green color. Um, sort, of, sort of quite yellow, kind of lightish green. That's what we're going for. So let's add something like that in here. Let's go kind of a um, sort of kind of pastel green color, something like that. And then into the scattering, we're going to add a quite a bright yellow. So there's a gradation as, it, as the light travels through the object. So we've got a green and we've got a yellow in there. I'm going to make that a little more yellow. So if we go over to SSS, I've uh, render passes enabled, so we can see them down here. If you don't have that, um, you go to your render settings up here, sorry, and then uh, render passes. And I've got transmission and SS there, and to make sure this is enabled. Uh, so now we can go over to SS, and we can kind of we can see uh, the subsurface a little more clearer. Um, we can kind of match it up to this leaf color. Like we're pretty close, it might be a little bit too green. So let's take some green out of this. Let's push it towards yellow slightly. So there we go. Make that more yellow. That's probably too yellow now. <laughs> a little more green back in. There we go. I think that's about right. Yeah, somewhere around there. Um, if we want to adjust sort of the amount of substance we have happening. Um, so at the moment it's sort of just happening at the tips here and where the sun's like, uh, really catching it. Obviously leaves are quite thin. So a lot of subsurface does happen. So we can just lower the density here, maybe something like 50. That's still quite thick, maybe 30. So we've also got the transmission working, so we don't want it to be don't want it to be too much. We really just want to affect some of the edges. Maybe maybe 75 is good. And there we go. So we got our subsurface there, we've got the transmission. And then main. So that's our diffuse material done, oh, which is looking great. Let's just come in and look around here. Seems to look a lot better than what we had before. Whoop. Way better than what we had before. So let's kind of add some nice sort of gloss on top of this as well. So 
just rename this leaf diffuse. I'm going to duplicate that. Uh, leaf gloss. So I'm going to come into select leaf gloss, come up to the node editor here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the transmission and medium because you can't have them on glossies anyway. Just delete those. Select the material, go to basic, change it from diffuse to glossy. Now you can see we already have quite a nice effect. If we just grab this material here, pull it over the leaf grass like that. I'm just going to, no, oh no, so there we go. So you can see it's kind of looking great. Um, I want to do a little bit more to it, but you can see our reflection is sort of breaking out quite nicely across the leaves here. But um, I think a little bit of roughness might help. Now I'm also going to tweak the bump just so it's um, not too much of a breakout. I just want it to be quite subtle. So we can do, we can just delete this gradient out of here. And then uh, let's add another multiply again. And a float. Put that in there. Now you see the, the lower we take this, the kind of shinier the leaves we're going to get. So um, I think a value of maybe 0 0.5 would be quite nice. So then there's still kind of sort of wet, like rubber looking leaves, but we've also got some nice bump as well that kind of breaks up those reflections. Great, so let's work on the roughness. So we're going to take our color correct here, which is desaturating the image and putting a bit more contrast in it. I'm going to take that, I'm going to put it into the roughness. Let's just zoom back in so we can see these reflections. Now maybe I want it to be a little rougher than that. So what we can do, we can just take a multiply again. And then grab a float. Put the float into texture too. There you go, that's a lot rougher now. If we take this down to zero, you see it's getting kind of glossy again. But um, you kind of just walk this up to maybe a value of maybe, maybe two, maybe double the power of it. Cool. So now, now looking, we've got a really nice sort of glossy leaf material happening now. So next thing to do, we need to mix both these materials together. So I'm just going to create an octane mix down here. Just call it leaf, leaf mix. And then into our mixed materials with the just leaf mix selected, diffuse into material one and gloss into material two. And then we can grab our mix and just put it over the top. So now we have everything working together. I'm just going to double click that to reload it in the viewport. And you can see we've got all the nice sort of like reflections breaking up across the leaves over here. But we also have our subsurface and transmission as working as well. So that's great. That's kind of my workflow of um, of using forester materials and just piping them into as sort of as many channels as as you can just to get as much realism out of it um, as possible. Um, next, I'm going to move on to on to doing the trees.